Kyle Alexander, I work for NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, and this is the Command Centre. The Command Centre is the new analytics tool that we are providing uh, to all of our uh, senior management and cl clinical staff to help them improve the quality of care that we provide. NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde is Scotland's largest health board. It's one of the largest health organisations in the NHS in the UK. It has nine acute main sites. It treats around half a million patients every year as accident emergency attendances, and it treats about 250,000 inpatients every year. So it's a significant operation. We have huge amounts of demand on every single bed. We have to maintain turnover in order to maintain the right level of care for our patients and make sure that our occupancy levels don't go too high and that we have space for the next patient that needs a bed. So the challenges we always have are being able to do things quicker and being able to do things more efficiently. We're an incredibly data rich organisation. Each patient is producing a data point every 15 minutes, potentially, and they're staying in hospital for four days. So that's a huge amount of data that we have we didn't have the ability to have access to our own data quickly and in a way that was useful. The command centre is the product that gives us access to our data and that is an enormous step forward. We've had a long working relationship with MicroStrategy but the command centre has taken us to another level in terms of the level of integration across multiple areas of the service. It's the single point of information that allows us to run our organisation, that gives our operational managers the information they need and it supports our clinical staff to make decisions around placing patients, about discharges. By creating a single data source, which the operational reporting platform does, it means you get rid of that kind of discussion. You can focus in on what matters, which you've got a single source of information that allows everyone to be working from the same page. When there's a bed available, we can spot it. When there's a patient waiting too long in ED, we can spot it. So it gives people that ability to pinpoint the issues in the service and allows them to do their job in a more efficient and timely way. In terms of the COVID pandemic response, the command centre has been an invaluable tool. One of the things you have to do as part of COVID is you have to close a ward down when infection is found in that ward. You then have to manage the infection control by not allowing any more admissions to that area. We need to be able to know that these beds are out of action. And the command centre in one place tells us how many beds we can and can't use. It actively displays beds that are closed for infection control, beds that are closed for social distancing. So that has been a rapid development in just the space of a year, adding additionality to the command centre in response to a global pandemic. I think the thing that this demonstrates is that it's an incredibly flexible tool and actually the close working relationship between MicroStrategy and our BI team has meant that as the pandemic has evolved and we've had to develop and learn how we treat this uh, novel virus, we've actually got to a position where our analytics has kept pace and has actually enabled us to be dynamic. What would have taken us, you know, days to collect the data and go through and find and refine and edit is now simply at the click of a button. And that's a massive transformation. And when you're thinking about the types of people being asked to look at this, senior decision makers right up to the you know, chief operating officer, medical directors, for example, making that data available at speed is a huge saving in time and in cost in terms of time wasted. In terms of rolling it out, we've tried to create a tool that is as dynamic and as flexible as possible. That includes senior consultants, ward managers, department managers, hospital managers, and right up to the level of chief executive. Because it's that dynamic planning, plus operational, plus patient-facing data set. And it's a fantastic resource for all of them. The, the most exciting aspect of the command centre for the organisation and for myself is the platform it's built is exactly that. It's a platform from which we can carry on uh, improving our analytics and our real-time reporting. In the last six months, I've had numerous conversations and have seen a number of products brought forward off the basis of building an operational reporting tool platform which the command centre comes off of. The command centre for us represents the beginning of us taking a new step in our analytical performance.